Namaste Travelers, Tara here, Hidden Lotus Tarot, and I'm coming to you today with a general reading for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising for June 2016. This is a general reading and the messages will not apply to everyone, in which case please come back and view your Moon and Rising sign. There may be messages there for you. If you'd like, you know, information on your own situation, you have to book a personal reading. You can go over to the website read about the packages. Please make sure that you fill out the form. They're on separate pages. I, I apologize for that, but that's the way it's done. And uh, then I can read on your specific situation. I can pull up the energy surrounding you and your situation personally. Um, Mercury did go direct on the 22nd. However, it is still in its direct shadow phase, which means um, it can still play a few tricks on you. Although you may be feeling an easing up of tensions surrounding, you know, travel, uh, automobiles, trains, planes, boats, communications, text messages, emails, small appliances, phones, computers, anything that's been giving you kind of a headache, any kind of delays, news that you've been waiting on. Um, by the 7th of June, we should be in the all clear. We still have Saturn and Sagittarius retrograde. We also have Pluto and Mars retrograde. There is one more planet retrograde, and I can't tell you which one that is. But either way, um, we are headed into the summer season here in the States. This weekend marks the start of summer with Memorial Day. So um, I think we're going to have a lot of things on our plate coming up with Mercury going direct. So we're going to get right into the reading. Um, I was having a run of some really beautiful readings there, and then I started running into some strange energy for some signs. So... The Aquarius reading was very, very strange. So if you have an Aquarius moon or rising sign or you're dealing with an Aquarian person, make sure that you go back and you, you take a look at that video. Um, that was quite um, interesting. So we're going to do the Hidden Lotus spread and we're going to see what energies could possibly be coming. And I say possibly because this is general. Okay. Coming up for Aries, sun, moon, and rising For June 2016. Wow. Now somebody else got got this in a sense same reading. Um, underneath the deck though I have the two of coins. And what I was looking at, what I was, um, was these aces. Um, this has already turned into an ace. So this is an influence passing away. So is this. So there's either money and love involved or the love of money involved, or um, there's two situations involving uh, family, things built up, um, extreme emotional contentment and finances. Um, and really you can't separate any of these things from the other. Um, right in the center, I have the, I have the Hierophant and the Hierophant um, represents institutions. Hold on one second. Go to your house, go to your bed. The Hierophant represents institutions, corporations, any place where there's structural hierarchy, universities, it represents teachers, it represents doing the social, uh, the true social norms, religion, and it also represents uh, doing the right thing and marriages, okay? And for some of you, in a sense, I'm getting that this can be, this is either a marriage offer or it is the end of a relationship like a marriage. Either way, it's something quite sudden. And I say that because I have the two tens, the two family cards here. Okay. Now, I've also seen this card mean a home move in some instances. Okay. Like maybe you have to move away um, to get a better job. Or you're moving away because, um, you know, it's going to financially benefit you of some sort. What's quite interesting though, is that even though the tower comes in to tear down certain things, um, and allow you to build up over it, 
it comes through with Jupiter and Jupiter is all about expansion. It is about growth. Um, it is about new opportunities coming in um, with the Hierophant. So this is either going to be really, I think it's either someone has suddenly fallen in love or someone has been suddenly proposed to, or that um, someone has made a decision to either leave a situation, either to go back to school, um, either to move to get a better job, um, or just to move because and to leave a situation because it's time now. Okay, it's sudden and unexpected. Sudden and unexpected. Okay, um, there is a victory in this, whatever this is. It is a brand new offer. And see that portal way there? All you got to do is step through the opportunity when it's presented to you. Um, if it hasn't been presented, it is coming. Now, I have the Aries card here. And whether you are male or female Aries, whether this is a work relationship, or a romantic relationship or personal relationship. And if it's a romantic relationship, whether you are the male or the female in the relationship, um, what this is telling me is that there's going to be some stability and some structure coming in. This is turning into the Ace of Cups. This influence is already passing away. As you can see, these two... Okay? So for those of you whom this has not started yet, it is definitely coming up. The influences have already passed away. And whatever this thing is, this card represents the extreme emotional contentment. All right. The emperor, this card can be a counselor. He can be a guru or a teacher of some sort. But this guy represents some type of father figure, authority figure, boss type figure. Um, maybe some of you met someone. <laughs> I mean, really, it doesn't matter what the situation. This is something that is unexpected. So if it hasn't come yet, be on the lookout. Um, this says that whatever you already have built up, you've done a very, very good job. You've done that through being rational, logical, fair, and balanced. But now it's time to increase and expand your territories and your possessions. Um, that's what Taurus deals with, your possessions, your self-worth. Perhaps this is your confidence coming back. Um, I'm not looking at the tower as a negative uh, because even if it, it was the shakeup of a relationship or a marriage, I don't really think that it came as a surprise to you. Perhaps the speed in which it happened okay, might be a surprise to you. But this is an unexpected, really an unexpected windfall is what it says. A stroke of luck so whatever this thing is it's something quite positive please be on the lookout for it this when I see this it's an unexpected windfall now I'm not saying that you know you're gonna win the lottery although you might I'm not saying that maybe somebody's gonna pass away and leave you some money and property but it might happen this could literally be like an opportunity just falling into your lap that's going to be extremely extremely beneficial on all levels. So I have the wands, I have the the cups, I have the pentacles. Um, it's going to be beneficial for you as well on a spiritual level. This is going to allow you to grow spiritually through the experience of it. Um, I do have one, two, three, four major arcana cards, three right down the center. Whomever this, if this emperor is not you, but someone that you run into, they may not be of a fire sign, but it can be, as I said, someone who embodies this uh, stance, uh, someone who's logical, balanced, rational, fair, um, will be tough when they're angry. Uh, they come with a lot of unexpected opportunities. The Ace of Cups is not just about love. It is also about um, a fresh emotional start and a fresh spiritual start. There's the dove. This is literally the overflowing tears, being happy with joy. Um, this is all about increase and abundance. But what I see coming up by, I'm going to, the, the timing of the two of coins is the December 23rd through the 30th. So right around the new year, okay, um, it may bring up the energies of this two of coins. All right. 
And this card is about adaptability. It is about play. It is about juggling things. Um, it can literally be, well, maybe all of a sudden your finances, because this looks like, you know, there could be a lot of positive, there are a lot of positive benefits. And this really reeks to me of some kind of unexpected windfall in whatever way that means. So perhaps this card is a caution that you want to be cautious because by the end of the year, you might be in a place where your finances are all jacked up and emotionally you're all jacked up. So to embody the energy of the emperor, Try to remain balanced and fair and logical in the way that you're dealing not only with others, but mostly with yourself. Um, he kind of comes in like the daddy to say, Psh, wait a minute, you acting all foolish. Don't do that. So uh, this is, I don't even have to, look. I want to see what's underneath the hierophant there because there's really no. This looks like a pro an offer, someone who's a protector, who's going to give you the opportunity to have a family. This is going to be a very, very beneficial relationship, work or otherwise. Um, an unexpected victory that's going to bring you a great opportunity for stability and finances, but something brand, brand new. The two aces are together. Um, and it's a repeat here. Let me see what's underneath this hierophant. Why we have the caution. Look at this. Now, remember I said this could be an ending? Remember like it's an unexpected ending? Like a really didn't really surprise you that it was coming to an end, but I think the speed at which it came to an end, and I think this is what this represents. It represents the fact that whatever this thing is, it's it's over and done with, okay? Um, but please don't cry over spilt milk because look at all the beautiful stuff you got coming. And, that's, and the Hierophant is there to protect you to say, hey, look, you know, I got something for you have faith um, just have faith um, I think that's quite the one stinking card out of this whole spread this could literally even be that you are traveling someplace and you meet somebody quite suddenly and unexpectedly someone who is wise who gives counsel who may be the head of a corporation um, or a the head of a large business, something with structure. It could also be that you have just met the person you're going to marry. And there's a lot of fire and passion around this, as typically you Aries people are. This, I wouldn't focus too much on that. You know, see that two of cups behind that guy? Can you see that? That's what you got coming in whatever manner that means. So I'm not even going to pull any Sabilas on this because this is quite self-explanatory. That is absolutely, I will. Let me pull some cards right quick on this two of pentacles to tell me what this is talking about. Nevertheless, this person, even though they're off balance, and this could simply be, you know, try not to be too busy. Um, that you're missing out on other things with all this financial love windfall going on right here. I couldn't even pay myself to get a, I couldn't pay myself for a reading for a spread like that for me. Hey, Tara, I'm going to pay Tara for a reading. Here, girl, four to five minutes. Lady cause. My car still wouldn't look like that. <laughs> That's absolutely beautiful spread. I am so pleased that I could bring that to you because I know I have one Aries friend down in Houston and she just ended something and, and she's looking for something new. So I hope she sees this and takes heart in it that um, this could even be some type of position of itself authority. Okay. But this was the hidden element. That was the hidden element.
okay? And it is through this that you receive all of this. So it's like a reward for all the pain and suffering and heartache and stress you've been through. Because this is absolutely one of the most beautiful spreads I've ever seen. I had one for, I don't know, a couple of other people, really good spreads. But this is the best one by far I've done for June. Very good. Well, now it could be some of you by December might be expecting a baby or to start a family. It's been a long time coming. This happiness of the heart. That it's going to be the birth of something, someone new. And this could be why by the end of the year, you are all discombobulated. But it's not a bad thing. That's what I was saying. All right. Look, Aries, I got nothing else to say. Um, even if this is not a kid, it's still going to be the birth of something new. Okay. So um, I had some lady going, well, I'm past 50. Ain't no more kids having. Um Whatever this new thing is, if it's not a baby, it's going to be the birth of something and you can treat it like a baby because whatever it is, it's going to be good. So that's all I have for you, Aries. I'm so pleased to have brought that to you. Until next time, namaste.